everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I made this mask. The mask itself is made out of cotton poly blend. On the outside I use this printed uh, fabric and on the inside I use this solid color fabric. I've also added these wings on the sides to hold a filter in place. Now, you can find this pattern online on a website called freesewing.org. It is a free pattern. All you have to do is print it out, choose whichever size you want to make your mask, cut it out, and go from there. So I've already transferred this to a harder paper, and the size that I've used for this particular mask is a large. I find that the large mask works well for my size face. If you have a smaller face or want to make masks for younger people, then I would advise using either the medium or the small. In addition to the pattern that can be found online, I created a separate pattern for these little wings that hold the filter in place. All I did was Parallel to the edge of the side of this mask, I drew a line two and three quarters away from this edge parallel to create the shape for those, for those wings. Um, a half an inch for seam allowance on the inside of the mask and a quarter inch on the outer edge of the mask. To create the pattern for the filter itself, I took the existing pattern that I downloaded. Then I traced it out and I made a separate pattern just for the filter, which is half an inch less at the top, at the side, and at the bottom. So it's slightly smaller than the actual mask itself. That way it'll sit nicely within the, uh, within the perimeter of the mask and be held by these wings. You are going to need four pieces of this pattern cut. It doesn't have to be two different fabrics. It could all be one fabric if you choose, but I decided to line the inside of my mask in a lighter color and use the print on the outside of the mask. And because I'm using the lighter color on the inside, I decided to make the little wings that hold the filter in place out of the same fabric. So the material that I used for the filter that sits inside of my mask is actually an air filter that's used in your home. So this particular one is called Filtreat. It can be purchased at Home Depot or Home Hardware. You just want to make sure that on the label, it says viruses. Now, in the packaging, the filter itself is pleated and there is a wire cage um, that goes around it. So you want to make sure that when you are cutting out the wire cage to use wire cutters or pliers so that you don't damage your scissors. Then when the uh, filter comes out of the packaging, it'll be pleated like this. So when you are ironing this material, make sure to use a pressing cloth between the iron and the filter so that you don't damage the filter or damage your iron. Now I'm just using silk organza as my pressing cloth between the filter and my iron. And I'm using my filter pattern piece to cut out four pieces of this filter. Now for the elastics that wrap around the ear and are sewn to the sides, of the mask. I used black quarter inch elastic because that's what I have on hand. You can use any color elastic. It doesn't have to be quarter inch, but I find quarter inch or thinner is the most comfortable. But if you have three eighths or half an inch, whatever you have will work. So now I'm just taking my black quarter inch elastic, measuring out one piece that's six inches long cutting that and then cutting a second piece. So now I'm going to form the filter. So we've got our 
four pieces that we've just cut out. On this particular filter, one side is more fibrous than the other. So all I've done is I've taken the two sides that are more fibrous, and in this case it is this side, I'm going to face them against each other. And the reason I want to do that is because I want the side that's less fibrous to be against the face. That way you don't have any fibers that are going to be getting caught in your lip or your facial hair if you have any. With those fiber sides facing each other, okay, fiber sides together, I'm going to take all four pieces and place them on top of each other along this long curved section of, of the mask. Then using a quarter inch seam allowance, starting at one end, I am going to join all four pieces together. Back tacking at the beginning and at the end of the seam. Now I've got all four pieces sewn together like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finger press this seam allowance open slightly and I'm going to edge stitch all the way around the mask. Once you've joined your four pieces, your mask will look like this. This is a side that will sit away from the face with the seam allowance exposed. This is a side that will sit against the face. Now we're going to start putting the fabric pieces together. So I've got here what I'm calling the wings, which hold the filter in place. You want to make sure you have a left and a right side. And then what we're going to do is along the long edge, we're going to fold a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to fold another quarter of an inch, and then we're going to edge stitch along that second fold. Once you finish edge stitching on the one wing, take your other wing, fold it a quarter and a quarter inch, and then edge stitch on that second fold again. From here, I'm going to take the actual mask pieces now. So the light pink I'm using on the inside. Along this long curve, we are going to join the two pieces using a quarter inch seam allowance. And repeat that step with the fabric you're using for the outside layer. So now I'm just pressing all of my pieces, starting with the wings, and then pressing all the seam allowances open. I'm using my pressing hem just to maintain the curve of the mask. And don't forget to use your pressing cloth when you are pressing your filter piece. Now we're gonna put the mask together. So you're gonna take your two elastics, put them on the side, and then you're gonna take your inner layer. You've got your side edges here, you've got your top edge and your bottom. So along the side edge, you're going to take one of your wings, the one that matches with the top and the bottom, those corresponding edges, place on top of your inner layer, lining up the side. Then you're going to take an elastic Place it a quarter inch below your top edge. Line up the edge of the elastic with the edge of the mask, and you're just gonna tack it in place within a quarter inch seam allowance. Then you're gonna take the other end of the elastic, bring it down, and place it a quarter of an inch away from the bottom of this edge. And then you're gonna tack that in place. Then you're going to take your other wing, place it directly on the other side of the mask, 
and tack your elastic just the same way you did with your first elastic. Now that the elastics are sewn to the sides of the mask, the inner layer of the mask, we can take our outer layer, place it directly on top of the inner layer, right sides together, making sure that the bottom lines up at the bottom, the top lines up at the top, and we're gonna sew all the way around using a quarter inch seam allowance. We just need to make sure we leave about a two inch hole on the side so that we can turn the mask right side out once we're done. So I'm just gonna start on one side, making sure that this stitch uh, stabilizes the elastic. And I'm gonna back tack, and then I'm going to go all the way around the mask at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now I've just ended my stitch on the same side where I started, but I made sure to leave about a two of an inch hole on one side of the mask. And from this hole, I can reach in and start pulling the mask through to reveal the right side of the mask. And you'll see that our elastics are right along the corners. And where we left that hole, we're gonna fold those edges in a quarter of an inch. And then we're just gonna edge stitch all the way around the mask. And now we're on the same side where we've left that hole. Make sure that this stitch closes this hole off and back tack at your starting point. So now we've got our mask made. Now, with the filter that you've created earlier, you can just trim these corners down and insert the filter into the wings at the side of your mask. And this is what your finished mask looks like. Filter on the inside, your print fabric on the outside with the elastic ear loops. And this is what the finished product looks like. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on how to make these cotton poly blend masks with filters on the inside. I hope you've liked the lesson and I can't wait to see all the masks that you guys will make.